Hi. Today again we will learn few more number patterns. Today we will concentrate on a slightly difficult or slightly complex kind of number patterns. So as we can see, I have already noted down one number pattern, which is 1, 4, 2, 8, 6, 24, 22, 88. So if we see it carefully, it is actually neither in ascending order nor in descending order. See, here the first number is 1, then we have 4, and after 4 we have 2, which is less than 4, right? After 2 we have 8, which is more than 2, and then we have 6, 6 is again less than 8. Right. After 6, we have 24, which is way more than 6. And after 24, we have 22. Right. So this is a pattern where I think a single logic cannot be applied. I think it is a combination of two logics. So to find whether it is a combination of two logics, we will follow a few steps. Okay, first step is let's find the differences. So the difference between 1 and 4 is 3. That is, if we add 3 to 1, we will get 4. But the difference between 4 and 2, that is 2 minus 4, is actually minus 2. Right? And the difference between 2 and 8 is 6. And the difference between 8 and 6 is again minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. And the difference between 6 and 24 is 18. Right? And the difference between 24 and 22 is again minus 2. And here the difference is 66. I think we have found out at least one logic of the series. If we see these differences carefully, every alternate difference is minus 2. But by seeing this difference, we actually are not able to say anything. So let me erase these differences. We will try and find out some other logic if it is available. So let's see these terms once again. Okay. So what is the relation between 1 and 4? 4 is actually 4 times 1. So if we multiply 1 by 4, we will get 4. And 4 minus 2, we are getting 2. This logic is perfect, no problem. And now let's find the relation between 2 and this 8. Oh, it's again multiplied by 4. So if we multiply 2 by 4, we are getting 8. Right? And let's find the relation between 6 and 24. 6 fours are 24. So again, this is multiplied by 4. Right. Similarly, 22 multiplied by 4 will give us 88. So what will be the next term? To find the next term, we have to do minus 2. So 88 minus 2 is 86. Right. And 86, now we have to multiply it by 4. Because we are doing 1 multiplied by 4, then we are subtracting 2, then we are multiplying by 4, then we are subtracting 2, then multiplying by 4, then we are subtracting 2. So since we have subtracted 2, this was the chance of minus 2. So now we have to multiply this 86 by 4 to get the next number. So 6 4 is 24. 4 8s are 32 plus 2 is 34. 
So the next term is 344 and to find the next term after 344 will be we have to do minus 2 this time and we will reach 342. So what is this series? The series is 1, 4, 2, 8, 6, 24, 22, 88 and we have recently found three new members of the series. They are 86, 344 and 342. Right? So this is we have found out the series. Now let's try and write it in general notations. So again, let's fix the first term. T1 is equal to 1. Right? And T n is equal to 4 times T n minus 1 where n is even. All the even terms are actually 4 times their previous term. So Tn is equal to 4 times Tn minus 1 where n is even and we have to write one more logic for the odd place terms where Tn is equal to Tn minus 1 minus 2 where n is odd. So this is the general notation of the series or of the number pattern. This will define how the number pattern actually behave. And by using these formulas, we can find any term of this pattern.